Hi guys! Welcome again sa ating video about differential calculus. So last time we discussed about the increment of a functions and naintindihan natin doon that the increment of y over the increment of x as the increment of x approaches 0 is what we call a derivative of y with respect to x. So ngayon naman ang pag-uusapan natin is about the derivative of algebraic polynomial. So, what we need to take note when we are talking about the derivative of algebraic polynomial is that when a given function is an algebraic polynomial, our x plus delta x may be raised to certain powers and the use of binomial theorem will greatly help. So, in here we have an equation and we are being asked to differentiate it. Okay, And we learned that when we are asked to differentiate equation like this, we are talking about taking the increment of y with respect to the increment of x, wherein our increment of x approaches 0. No? Okay, so let's start solving this problem. So I will just write again the equation right here. We have y is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So we will take the increment of our variables. Therefore, we will have here y plus delta y is equal to x plus delta x cubed minus 2, then x plus delta x, then we have plus 1. Okay? Now, we will work out with our cube here, and we have distributive property here. So, we have y plus delta y is equal to, uh, we will take now the cube of our uh, variable in its increment here. So, we will have here x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared. Then, we have plus delta x cubed. Okay? Now, we will have a distributive property here. We will have minus 2x minus 2 delta x and we have plus 1. Okay? Now, we know from here that our y is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 1. So, we have x cubed minus 2x plus 1 plus delta y is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed minus 2x minus 2 delta x plus 1. And now from here, we can see that there are terms that we can cancel out. Okay, so as you can see, we have x cubed in our left side of the equation and x cubed on the right side. So we'll have to cancel out this term. We have negative 2x and we have negative 2x here. So this will be canceled out as well. Then we have plus 1 and we have plus 1. So... Write down uli natin kung ano yung mga natira na ating terms. We will have here delta y is equal to 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed minus 2 delta x. Okay? And now we will divide all sides by delta x. No, So we'll divide this by delta x. We'll divide this by delta x, we'll divide by delta x, divide by delta x, and divide by delta x. So, what we'll have here is delta y over delta x is equal to 3x squared because this will be cancelled out. Okay, plus 3x delta x, okay, plus delta x squared from here minus, this will be cancelled out, we'll have minus 2. And now, we will have our derivative of y over derivative of x, which is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of delta y over delta x. So, all of our delta x will be approaching 0, no? So, we will have here 3x squared. And this will be approaching 0. And this will be approaching 0. So what's left is minus 2. So therefore, this is our final answer for this question. Okay. 
Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day!